Welcome to Lingua Latina Tutorials with Mr. K. This is chapter 30, Grammatica Latina. Read through this section aloud in Latin, focusing on the endings, clearly pronouncing every syllable, and when you're done, come back and follow along my translation. Grammatica Latina. Guerbi tempora. Uh, futurum perfectum. So, the tenses of the verb, the future perfect tense. Active voice. The leader will praise the soldier if he fights bravely. Um, when you translate this, the leader will praise the soldier if he will have fought bravely. For this section, I'll translate a little more literally, and I'll translate like that, but understand that in English you would put the second verb in the present tense, so the leader will praise the soldier if he fights bravely. Laudabit is the future tense. Pugnawerit is the future perfect tense. The future perfect ends in erit, which is the third person singular, uh, which uh, is added to the infinitive of the perfect without isse. Examples. He will have recited, he will have obeyed, he will have written, he will have heard. The student will be praised if he will have obeyed the teacher and will have been industrious, if he will have written well, correctly, if he will have recited well, and will have heard, caref listened carefully. The teacher says, I will praise you if you will have obeyed me, if you will obey me, and will be hardworking. The student says, uh, what will you do to me if I am lazy and do not obey you? I'm I'm switching over to just regular present tense translations of these after future verbs because it's very awkward to do will have. The teacher says, if you uh, write poorly and recite badly, nor listen carefully, I will beat you, the student. Therefore, you will praise me if I recite correctly, uh, if I say write correctly, recite well, and listen carefully. The students will be praised if they obey the teacher and they are hardworking. If they write well, I mean write correctly, recite well, and listen carefully. The teacher says, I will praise you if you obey me and you are hardworking. The students say, what will you do to us if we are lazy and we do not obey you? The teacher says, if you, are, uh, if you write badly, I mean incorrectly, and you recite poorly or badly, nor listen carefully, I will beat you. The students say, therefore, you will praise us if we write, if we write correctly recite well, and listen carefully. The endings of the future perfect are ero, eris, erit, eremus, eritis, erint, which are added to the perfect stem, which is the perfect uh, infinitive minus isse. And notice the same thing happens for sum. Sum esse fui, fuisse, futurus. You take off the isse and you get fu, and you add the ero, eris, erit to that. So these are verbs that you need to put on flashcards to memorize. Passive. The father will rejoice if his son w is praised, or will have been praised, literally, by the teacher, if the teacher will have praised the son. The father will rejoice if his sons will have been praised by the teacher, if the teacher will have praised his sons. The father. I will rejoice, my sons, if you are praised. The son, what will you give me if I am praised? Father, I will rejoice, my sons, if you guys are praised. The sons, what will you give us if we are praised? Uh, the future perfect passive forms laudatus ero, laudatus eris, laudatus erit, laudati eremus, laudati eritis, laudati erunt. So, um, Practice all of these forms, read through this three times, and then head over to Grammatica.